to Booze Reviews in black and white. I am Bane, and this is D'Amico to my left. Uh, great day for you. We got a couple of blue moons for you. Yes. We are going to bust out the regular blue moon, and we've got the blue moon Grand Cru. We're going to do a little A-B action, you know, side by side. Definitely. Uh, blue moon is a Belgian-style wheat beer, uh, sometimes called white beer or wit beer. Uh, they're decent. Hazy, little bit of citrus, creamy, but definitely prominent on the wheat flavor. Um, there's usually some some wheat on the bottom of the bottle. You can usually see that. Now I haven't had the Grand Cru before. I've had the regular. Uh, what I know Blue Moon by is the the massive amount of orange I get, and that's uh, what I've been hearing from a lot of people as well. Just massive amounts of orange. So I'm excited to see the difference between the, uh, the special version and the regular version. Mm. Definitely some orange peel on the nose. Typical. Yeah. Tons of orange. That's about all I'm getting, honestly. I, I, can't, I can't go past that. It's just too bold and strong for me. I like Blue Moon. I love Belgian wheat beers. Um, it always shocks me. You go to a bar or a restaurant or something and order a Blue Moon, and everyone's got orange in it, an orange wedge. <laughs> There's not like, enough orange in here. Exactly. What's going on? It's like, <laughs> put some orange juice in it, why don't you? <laughs> yeah, oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> Very simple. Definitely getting the wheat. Uh, <clears throat> a little creaminess I'm getting. Oh, yeah. It's good. I like it. Great for a hot summer day. Um, you know, besides the orange, I'm getting the wheat, and I'm, the two together are combining into almost like a grapefruit component to me. Sure. Um, You're tasting the coriander. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Now what's that? Coriander is, uh, you've heard of cilantro. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Coriander is the seed to grow cilantro. Nice. So, All right. Little, little tidbit for you, a little, little fact. Factoid. Mm hmm. You just got nerdy on us. Sorry. <clears throat> but that's very typical to put in a, a wheat beer. Uh, uh, orange peel, orange zest, uh, coriander, uh, little spices like that. A lot of brewers will put that in there. Kind of zest it up, freshen it up for the summer. Um, yeah. It definitely works. It um, does. If we didn't catch a color for you, uh, if you've never had Blue Moon, just a cloudy, cloudy yellow. Uh, very hazy. Yeah, off yellow, I guess. Uh, head is going to be pretty much straight white. Let's see, moving on to the Blue Moon Grand Cru. Um, this is their special, special edition from 2009. Um, they do not make this every year. Uh, the reason they did it this, uh, in 2009 because New Year's there was a Blue Moon, uh, which I don't remember exactly how often that happens, but it's not very often. Um, and Blue Moon thought they'd capitalize and make a special Blue Moon. <laughs> it's all about marketing. marketing. It was, all totally. about marketing. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I do remember when this bottle came out, it was about uh, 20 bucks, almost 20 bucks uh, for these. Um, and as time went on, people weren't into the whole ooh, Blue Moon Grand Crew thing. Uh, I mean, Seriously, they were selling these for like two and three dollars a bottle. Um, I was angry because I got these on sale <laughs> for ten bucks, so I thought I was making a killing. You know, I, I thought I got away with murder on that one. Uh, and then I found them at five and two bucks, and I'm like, damn it. But it's like I still playing, drink it. It's like playing the stock market, man. That's it, man. <laughs> Getting a little more lemon peel out of this one than orange peel. Now I gotta tell you, the color is gonna be pretty much the same. Yep. A hair darker, um, but yeah, very, very similar. Yeah. Mm. So you're, did you say you're getting lemon peel? A little bit more lemon peel on the nose. I'm definitely getting that. A lot less orange. Mm -hmm. 
A lot more uh, <clears throat> Belgian beer qualities out of this one. Um, yeah. For sure, a little bit of that candy sugar, but that old world style kind of earthy, toned down. I don't even know how to explain it. <laughs> I, I mean, if I'm going to explain this to you, it is elegant. It's mm -hmm. not this mm. bold. You know, booming orange in your face. It's, sure. it's very, yeah, definitely very old subtle, world, yeah. subtle. Um, quite wonderful, actually. It's it's amazing. I was not expecting this. I can tell you, last year I had this uh, in 2010. It was not the same. Um, I don't know how far I would let this go. Um, but if you do have a couple bottles stashed away, you know, if you got it for two bucks. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, definitely, you know, try try a bottle every year or every six months or so and see see how it changes, see how it evolves. Uh, this one is bottle conditioned. Um, if you were, if we had, um, you had the ability to see, I mean, it's about up to here with the, the, the garbage at the bottom, I guess. Not really garbage, oh, but really? the weeds and the, the... Yeah, you can't oh. see it, but yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's huge. I mean, hopefully you guys are catching this, but it is... There is a lot of sediment. It is thick. Uh, wheat at the bottom of it. It's Ooh. not garbage. I shouldn't have said that. But, <laughs> um, it's very nice. It smells like uh, last night's dinner. <laughs> mm. No, I'm just kidding. But uh, what did you have for dinner last night? <laughs> Now I gotta know. Come on. No, no, no. Okay. I didn't eat dinner. Anyway. <laughs> Taco Bell again. <laughs> Taco Bell again. Uh, going back to the uh, original Blue Moon. Um, I forgot to rate that, so let's go ahead oh, and do geez, that. Oh, yeah. yeah. I give it a six. Six? No. Oh. Okay. Well, you guys know that uh, I'm not a fan of orange, if, you, if you've been watching before. Um, just not my style. Um, it's decent, but I'm going to rate it probably about a five. Straight five. So what about this Grand Crew? Not nearly as much orange. Um, a lot more complex. Oh, yeah. A little bit more alcohol kind of shows through on this. Um, I think this is seven and a half percent. Don't quote me on that. I don't see it on the bottle. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to give this one... Uh, I'll give it a seven and a half. Not bad. I think I'm going to tuck right underneath you there at about uh, 7.25. Uh, I really enjoyed it compared to the original. Uh, I think... <laughs> I think it's great. Um, it's subtle, yet it's complex, For uh, sure. delicate. Um, I think it does a great job. Cool. It screams for food, actually. Mm -hmm. Like some creamy cheese, some camembert, cool. um, some brie. Nice. Uh, you'll probably get away with some uh, some blue cheeses as well. With this one, that spice tart, uh, tanginess. Um, that could be real fun. Yeah, definitely. I would take down a wheel of brie mm. with this guy. <laughs> definitely. All right. Well, thanks again for watching. Uh, please subscribe and...